In this video, we will be exploring the website incarnate.com. Having landed on that page, the first you have to do is sign in or sign up for a free account. You can sign up using Google or Facebook, or you can do it the old fashioned way using your email address. If you choose a last option, do not forget to check that you are over 13 years old. If you click sign up, you will receive a confirmation email. When you sign in, you gain access to your map collection, which has a few options. You can upgrade to Pro, but I wouldn't advise on doing that right away. Let's first create a new map. You get a few options. The layout of a city, or a battleground map for an RPG of different sorts, etc. You will notice a red sign with Pro on it. Those are options only available for Pro accounts. Let's choose a free map, a fantasy world. The program will show you a few examples of this style. You can see the examples. Now this one suits me just fine, so I will hit choose style to confirm. Next up I've got a few options, but only one of them is free, so that's kind of a no-brainer create map. I start off with a big ocean. On the left you can see a toolbox and I can draw out land with this shovel. I can also paint textures on it or I can use images, so-called stamps. I can add text and uh, in the pro version you can draw roads and paths and then I can also add notes and grids to my map, etc. So let's start with the basics and add some land. You can adjust the size of your brush and the roughness of the edges. And now I'll just start creating. It's just like using a paintbrush, just sketch some random shapes. And when I'm done and I release my cursor, the software will automatically add coastlines there. Let's quickly add some more continents using the same brush. I can also change the size of my brush in case I want to add some more details, some smaller islands like this and that I couldn't do with the bigger brush. There. Now I'm a bit disappointed by my main island, it's kind of bland, so I will give some land back to the sea. To do that I select a subtract option and I will make a few cuts, creating lakes, peninsulae, and some rougher edges and fjords, adding some more character to my map. There. Okay, next up, adding mountains. I will need the stamp tool for that. Add some mountains, just click and drag. I can adjust the size and I can, that way I can create mountain ranges. It's as easy as that. Sometimes it's even a little too fast. You can also open a catalog of stamps. In the free version, you can only use the stamps that don't have a star icon. The free stamps are at the top of the catalog. Now let's put in a few hills. Oops, that's a bit too fast. Let me just click the undo button and again you can adjust the stamp size. I can also add trees in exactly the same way, just by clicking and dragging I can add some forests to my landscape. There we go, forests with different sizes. Let's make clear where the north is, let's also add a dead forest or two. There. Now to add a few cities using the stamp tool again. So this way you can really bring your map to life really quickly. There are my cities. Now let's see to add a few castles. There we go. Now the next step uh, is to add some names to parts of the map. First of all I'll add a banner. There we go, and then I'll put some text right on top of that banner. 
So I make up a name, adjust the size. Now our map is starting to look complete, but the landscape itself is kind of boring. Time to put in some textures using the brush tool. Let's start off with some grass. You can just paint over your map. Choose from the texture catalog to find the textures you want, the right ones suiting your map. And everything else is just repeating the same steps. Add textures, add banners and names to cities and continents. And when you're done, or simply when you need a break from your world crafting, you can hit the save button. So you choose a name for your world and you hit OK. Saving might take a short while, depending on how many changes you have made. You can return to your main page by clicking open the menu in the top left corner and select return to your maps. Now there's one more feature I like to show you if you create a new map. Let's say you don't want to draw out the continents yourself. You can just create a map and then you hit world generator and this will randomly create some lands. So you hit generate new world and it fills your ocean with land. Now if you don't like the result, you can just let the program run the generator again and you will get a very different map. So when you're satisfied with what your map looks like, you can export it. You can save an offline backup, but the standard way of saving is to export as image. This will give you your map ready to be used as an image in storytelling, creative writing, roleplay games, etc. That's it for this short introduction into Incarnate. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel.